today the Forum for Creative Europe continues here in the Prague's Municipal Library. We have prepared for you interviews with participants and a selection of speeches. One of the participants at the conference is Mr. Gottfried Wagner, uh, Director of European Culture Foundation. Welcome here. Thank you. And uh, you are well known for your controversial kind of opinions on creativity and fetish. But before we will go to it, please tell us what you think about the conference. It comes at a very interesting moment for European uh, politics because the Czech government failed uh, and um, I'm very concerned, um, especially in the context of the Lisbon Treaty. Uh, will the Czech uh, parliament, the Senate, uh, adopt it or not? And that has huge consequences for Europe. Um, and uh, <coughs> uh, the conference uh, as such um, I think is an important contribution to getting uh, our European agenda clear what means innovation in the future. Is it just technological innovation or is it also uh, societal and cultural innovation? And then we need the concept of creativity. And it's a wonderful place to debate about creativity in Prague, which is certainly one of the hot spots of creativity throughout the history. We already had some presentations, uh, some sessions. Uh, was there something interesting what stays on your mind, something inspirational for you? Yeah, I think, um, again, uh, the contribution of your former president, Mr. Havel, <coughs> was just breathtaking because he questioned the whole concept of uh, instrumentalizing creativity for economic purposes and bringing the issue back to the question of spirituality of uh, human beings and the ridiculousness of building huge cathedrals, for example. I found it very moving, I must admit. <clears throat> and there was another point, um, uh, one of the participants raised whether uh, the current crisis, which makes it so hard also for artists and for cultural uh, producers, whether this crisis was uh, exclusively the fault of the, um, the stock market experts and the, the bankers, or whether we, including the cultural sector, have had some responsibility in letting that happen. You will talk uh, in your paper here also about kind of like a little bit difficult uh, notion of creativity as, as uh, something very vague, and you suggest to focus on something a little bit different. I'm very skeptical about the inflation of the word creativity. It's used as the new fetish uh, in our societies. And with that you cover many other hot issues, I think, and you, 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 um, yeah, you take away uh, the energy of uh, burning questions. That's my fear. Creativity is used also in terms of um, uh, creative industries as a mantra, as a post-industrial mantra. So everybody is just hoping that our crisis will disappear with uh, investing in uh, the creative uh, potential of ours. It will not? Um, first of all, at the moment we have minus 35% uh, in the Czech uh, culture budget for the arts. So what does that mean? We have similar tendencies all over Europe. So. Is it a lip service or is it reality? Secondly, um, <clears throat> on a more political level, I'm, I'm afraid that uh, creativity also often means we compete against somebody. We have to be smarter than the Chinese. Uh, the difficulty could be that at the end, Europe and Prague, for example, would be the museum of the world and the Chinese are visiting us. So uh, some populist positions indicate that we have to be smarter, we have to be more creative as Europeans against the rest of the world. And I think that is very dangerous. We have to develop a creativity on behalf of all of us uh, and uh, in a cosmopolitan responsibility.